Note, this episode assumes you've seen the episodes on the existence of God and the truth of Catholicism. Please check the directory in the video description if you haven't watched those yet. Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Last season we discussed goodness, and specifically the goodness of God. This time we'll examine some of his other qualities, starting with his infinite nature. Today, let's look at whether God is really infinite. To start with, what does it mean to be infinite? The usual meaning of the word is something that, no matter how much you take away, there's always more remaining. This definition works even in a case like God, where you can't take anything away from him. All this means is that however much you take away is nothing. However, there are a couple of obstacles to understanding how God can be infinite in this sense. To start with, being infinite would mean that God isn't limited, and some have said that God does have limits. Namely, he has the limit of being different from other things. For example, God is not a rock, or a tree, or a book. He's God. This isn't a real limit, though, at least not in God. Rocks, trees, and books all have good things about them, but there are also good traits that they all lack, and the biggest one is self-sufficiency or necessity. None of them needs to exist. They might not have existed. Rocks have a limit to how long they've existed and how long they will exist. The same is true of trees and books, but it's not true of God. God is different from these other things because he's not as limited as they are. There are also those who say that an infinite thing needs to have a quantity, which is something that God can't have, due to not being a body with finite limits. However, when we say that God is infinite, we're not referring to the extent of some kind of physical body or the number of his cells. Instead, we're referring to things like God's existence, his goodness, his love, and his ability to make things happen. None of these things have any clear quantity. In each case, it's about the degree or quality of the trait. God can be infinite in those ways without needing to have any quantities. How? Because the word infinite really just refers to anything that isn't limited, whether the lack of limitations is due to quantity or not. In God's case, he's not limited in terms of the scope of his presence and the quality of his love, goodness, and power. This is just as much a freedom from limits, if not more so, than one based on quantity. So there's no problem with the idea of God being infinite. Next time... Can anything be infinite other than God? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.